The big thing that really matters is, you know, the, the Bitcoin has this really important intellectual property around, um, you know, design of kind of security and structure. The platform has been secured. And then that in itself proves to you that it's never going away. It's undestroyable, similar to gold. I mean, that's why it gets bucketed in the digital gold concept, which is it's, it's the native way to basically, you know, transfer value like gold, but in an undestroyable way. The thing that really is interesting is that Bitcoin has a limited supply, as you know, it's 21 million. And so for that reason, it will always have this question mark of, you know, supply and demand. And if demand starts to become very powerful, well, then all of a sudden supply is limited and that way the price could keep going up. So the issue with it as a currency is that who wants to transact in something that ultimately could continue to go up in value over time? That's the real problem that Bitcoin faces today is that, yes, it could be a really nice peer to peer network thing. But if the token ultimately keeps going up, I don't want to transfer it. And so that's a real issue. And I think that that's why Bitcoin has kind of gravitated over the last decade from this peer to peer blockchain uh, uh, kind of linear model to now a store of value is because people are saying, wait a minute, as more and more investors want access to this asset, the value of the token will just keep going up and up because you know it is absolutely never going to be destroyed and you know it's never going to have more than 21 million Bitcoins. That's why I think, by the way, I get so excited about something like Ethereum because that's a very different goal on that platform. It is actually building the network and the infrastructure utility to enable tokenization of many different applications like payments, like um, uh, you know transfers of different forms of value and much more intricate ways to transfer value um, such as we're seeing more and more today with NFTs and things like that.